Mm -hmm. Like that. Okay, you step back, you take a look. Oh, look at that. Welcome back to my channel. I'm just as surprised as you for doing so many videos. That's because of quarantine life. So I'm gonna do a quarantine makeup everyday look. This is my skin with Alni makeup. I have very dark eyelids, so I don't usually wear eyeshadow because it looks like I have eyeshadow on already. Before I put makeup on, I always do two things. I prep my face. Right now I'm using the Lancome Gel Illuminating Anti-Fatigue Cooling Eye Gel. This is what I'm using for my under eyes, and I'm using the Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration for Dry Parched Skin by First Aid Beauty. And this is what I'm gonna be moisturizing my face with. <laughs> What's the difference between under eye cream and facial cream? The pores underneath our eyes are much smaller than the rest of our face. You need an eye cream that's specific for your under eyes. That's gentle and will hydrate under your eyes. I usually get dry skin under my eyes and whenever I wear under eye makeup it ends up getting very cakey. But not with this new um, makeup routine I'm going to show you. So this is the cream for my face. And what I liked, that is a lot. But if you wear, if you end up putting too much cream on your face, extend it to your neck because your neck is an extension of your face. Yeah. All right, now my skin is nice and moisturized. And what I like to do with my lips, I take a cloth and I scrub like this. I get all the white stuff out, all the dry skin out. Let's get started. I learned this off of TikTok, believe it or not. I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder. And this is what it looks like. So first you moisturize your skin and then you take this translucent powder. And what I do is I just put it all over my face like this. I don't have many brushes. I have this brush that I use for my bronzer, my loose powder and my blush. So I put the loose powder everywhere. That's step one. Step two is to put a setting spray. So I'm using the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin. Let it dry. What I'm going to use is, in some videos I've seen people put foundation on, but I want to keep my skin moisturized and nice and dewy, so I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer all over my face. It's like a good double layer of moisturize, moisturizer. See how it's tinted? So it's important to go on your neck too. And I put this everywhere on my eyelids. See how much, oh, look at that. Okay, don't look at my lips. Look at that, it's nice and dewy already. Okay, my biggest thing is my under eyes. I always feel like I um, look like I need extra sleep. So I discovered this under eye, well it's a multi-use concealer, so I use this under my eyes. It's by L'Oreal True Match. This is color Light W34 Claire, and I'll put all of the products that I'm using in my captions. So this is what it looks like, and it's a turn knob. And I dub 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 like that. I don't have a beauty blender, so I'm using my fingers for everything. And whenever you're putting stuff under your eyes, it's best to use your wetting finger because it applies the least amount of pressure. You don't want to get them wrinkles, so I just dab like that to blend it in. And I love using my fingers. First of all, they're clean, but I find your fingers create this natural heat and it helps blend the products much better. 
And then whatever leftover I have on my finger, like this, I just swipe down on my nose. And that's my version of contouring. Because <laughs> then only this part is lighter and you don't have to contour the other parts. So that's what I do. Voila. And now I'm going to use a setting spray again. Let it dry. I shaved my armpits for this video, you guys. You're welcome. Next, I'm gonna use this Lee's Watsi bronzer. This is my favorite bronzer. It's in Havana. And if you've watched my other makeup videos, this is one that I always use. So this is what I'm gonna use to... Why do I always drop things? This is what I'm gonna use to contour my face. So I use the same brush. I smush it like this. And then I do like this and I do Right over here, like you feel it where your cheekbone is. I just do that. And then I do that again on the other side. And then I do the top here of my large forehead. And then I just blend everything in to give my face some extra color. And I dab under my eyes over here. And then I do my chest if I'm wearing something that is more decolleté. So everything is well blended and it doesn't look like my face is brown and the rest of my body is white. <laughs> voila, let me just do this. Okay, I'm gonna do it with my hair in the next video. <laughs> so it'll, everything will look well tied in together. Next is this Mary Kay Baked Cheek Powder Blush. It's the Giving Heart one. That's what it looks like. And I dab and I do this. It's the only time I ever do duck face. And I just put them on the corners of my cheeks like that to give my face some life. I love putting blush. Love, love, love it. And I blend it in. And voila. <laughs> My eyebrows, people keep asking, why do you keep doing this? Because my eyebrows naturally droop down and I feel like I need scotch tape to lift them up. So I have a eyebrow pencil found at the pharmacy by NYX. Fill and fluff in taupe, the color of taupe. And this is what it looks like. And on this end, there's a fluffer. So I fluff my eyebrows like that. I like it when it doesn't look like you have any makeup on. So what I do is I go over my line. So you wanna make the peak of your eyebrows a little darker and then you go down and that's all I do. See? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now the other side, fluff, fluff, fluff. Stay up, eyebrows. And I'm gonna use my mirror because I can't see through camera. And voila. And those are my eyebrows. What you can also do if you want to add some extra like dewiness to your skin. I found this product at Hudson's Bay called Touche Ikla Glow Shot, and it's in the color three. And what I do sometimes is I add a little bit over here and on my nose and on Cupid, whatever it's called. And I tap and blend, tap and blend. <laughs> Makeup artists are very confused by my video. If you were watching, I apologize. See, now I look very dewy. You can add some right here on your collarbone. The leftover. Nothing goes to waste, especially while in quarantine. And then I just, because I don't have a beauty blender, I like to re-go to go over everything to make sure everything looks decent. Okay, now one last time I use this. That went in my mouth. Dry it. 
working out, guys. Can you tell? <clears throat> Let's do my lips before I go into my eyelashes. So, I love a good lip. Again, I show you the lips. My lips, for some reason, are naturally very liney. There's lots of lines on them. And I just don't like putting a lip stick because then it goes into all my lines. So what I do is dry that off. Mwah. I'm going to use L'Oreal Matte Stramine number 112. This I got at the pharmacy. And I go, oh, I go over my line all the time. So this is my natural, oh, I'm going to go over it. So you see here, you could go under there. It looks like a shadow. See how much larger it looks just by doing that? And I just follow that line. Okay, I need to open the mirror. And then I'm going to add the Cream Sheen Cream Cup lipsticks. I'm adding very little of this. Yeah. And here. That's as much as I'll put because like I said, my lips usually end up looking chapped. And now I'm using the Lip Plumping Complex Jam Collin. Whatever clear lip gloss you have, this used to be clear, but I've been putting it with my lip liner. And that, 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 that's it. My lips are done. Wow, I did not blend my nose. And now my eyelashes. I love a good, long, sexy, thick eyelash, which I don't have. But you could pretend you do by buying a eyelash curler. And with this eyelash curler, it basically makes your eyelashes. You can also heat it up a little bit. I've never done that because my skin's very sensitive. So see, oh, look at that. So that's without any mascara. So I do that. And then I'm adding the Lise Watier V Element Fiber Mascara. This one is in volcanic black, volcanic, volcanic. And then I add my mascara, like that. Look how much longer and thicker my eyelashes look. Already, that's one round, but I do two rounds. Then you flip your hair on the other side and you do your other eye, like this. And we keep lifting that eyebrow. Okay. And now you add your mascara. And I'm gonna do it in the mirror here. I like to add at the bottom. Whoa. An eyelash fell off. Make a wish. Take a look. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And then I go over it. I know you're not supposed to, but you know what, guys? This is my makeup routine. It is my channel. It's what I do. See that? See that? And then I just do this. Bam, 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 bam. Voila. That is it. That is how you get a quarantine look. Very dewy, very natural, minimal amount of makeup. You don't even need to use everything that I use. I know some people don't even put under eye concealer, but I have hollow, see look, I have hollow under eyes and with the shadows, it looks like I have very dark circles. So I like to wear under eye concealer. Okay, next video is gonna be my hair. So I'll link it here. Hope you liked it. Like, subscribe, comment, do all that fun stuff. See you guys next video.